Today I want to talk to you about a little tip concerning what I think is the number one issue in content creation in development cooperation projects. It is simply that there's not enough content created that can generate engagement. There's a lot of content, but a lot of the content is focused on technical data about the project and not so much about the solution, the added value for people, but in general the overturn time for an article or some other piece of content to be going out there onto a website for example is just too long and I think one of the issues for that is that the process is started with the subject matter expert and the subject matter expert thinks he or she needs to create a long article and their typical structure is sort of this a scientific type of article that start with a background needs to have data needs to have numbers a picture and uh, references and all that it needs to be solid and all that and when they think of that they just don't have the time to produce this type of content during their regular work so the whole idea of creating an article for the website for the communications people just gets put off to the side all the time so my idea for you to uh, crack this nut is to call your subject matter expert or meet with them and ask them how much time they have. So they will say, well, what do you mean how much time do I have? You know, well, how much time would you give me um, if I created this piece of content with you? And then they will probably say, well, I don't know, you, you tell me and you say, well, how about one hour? And they say, what, what one hour? Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. What, let's see what you can do then. Come on over. So what you need to do then is you need to have a, a proper idea on what you want to create. You know, the added value to your listener, to your reader and so forth. And you come up with a typical interview catalog. So you go over there. You take your cell phone with you, you sit down with your subject matter expert and you record the whole thing. You ask them, him or her questions, you record it, you dig deeper on certain issues where you feel that this would be a nice flow to get some more idea on that. You record the whole thing. Then obviously you thank uh, the person, you go back to your office and you type down the whole transcript, you make a more nicer um, article paragraphs out of this whole thing, you create some direct quotes, some indirect quotes, you make some more factual paragraphs out of the more factual stuff you interview he told you about and you restructure it maybe you shovel it around a bit, you create subheaders and you know make it a whole more pointed. You know get a picture with it, a nice caption, then you obviously you send it back, you sort of apologize that obviously the whole thing is not done with an hour, he or she tells you, well, I didn't believe that to happen, and you say, well, you know, but it's not really that bad, I'm done pretty much with this whole thing, I just need you to go over this and comment on it, and, and uh, let's throw this thing back and forth a little bit to see, uh, you know, to, to get it off the ground and up into onto the website. And that's it and that's the trick it's basically standard journalistic uh, process uh, and uh, maybe not really new but i think for content creation and development cooperation projects this is really not a way that has been considered enough to create content thanks